parked on the bank of the Lagos Lagoon. The gigantic Ignithema power generating station is already a central player in the Nigerian power sector and the largest of such facility in the country with an installed capacity of 1,300 megawatts of power. But beyond that role, the brains behind Igni Power PLC are now looking at more ways to impact and improve on the quality of lives of not just the workforce, but those of Nigerians as well as enhancing a cleaner environment in a new initiative. For us in the Sahara Group, we've always said we are bringing energy to life. And to do this, it's not just talking it, but it's also walking the walk and making sure that we deliver. Today in Egbe, it has been picked as the first place we will commence not just a drive of sustainability, not just a drive of energy conservation, not just a drive of good living, quality living, long living, but the drive of ensuring that everybody stays alive and their quality of life is priceless. These sets of transportation equipment, including electric shuttle buses, the first of its kind anywhere in Nigeria, and bicycles, have been unveiled to be subsequently deployed for the operational use of the workforce around the whole wide power station and thus reduce the emission of carbon monoxide into the environment. Sustainability, quality of life, and good life to life. Thank you. To the glory of God. The world has moved forward. In certain areas, we are at a par with them. In certain areas, we are not. But for us in the Sahara Power Group, especially led by EGMI, we're looking at it to say that we want to be there and we need to plan for the future. Earlier, you saw us with the young um, students. The future belongs to them. But what we do today is going to determine what the future would be. So that is exactly why we're doing what we're doing. The shuttle buses 100% Chinese technology, when fully charged, can do a 50-kilometer journey before needing another recharge. And it's just another aspect of the futuristic thinking going on at the Sahara Group, especially the global shift in focus from fossil fuel to electric-powered vehicles. The environment to us is not just the physical environment. The people make part of the environment. Um, everything we do to us is the environment. Um, it is a sustainability because in today's world, it's all about sustainability and ensuring that the future is better than the present. Those who have served in the past have made the difference. Today, we're all standing here because other people did what they did. Our own aim is to be able to be counted. We want to stand up to be counted to say others in the future are standing there because we did what we all here, especially you members of the press, are doing to ensure that there's a better tomorrow than there is today. For us, uh, it is not just being in existence that matters. It is being able to deliver the promise uh, we've made. Um, for us, it's like um, we've signed a service contract with all our customers to ensure that they have electricity, and that will ensure that we do. Uh, we're investing massively, as we speak today, uh, in network expansion and ensuring that the lines that are needed to be strengthened are strengthened. We've equally given additional contracts out to those who do meters for us. Uh, we signed about 11.4 billion Naira uh, for the purpose of metering our customers. When they return from the trip, of course, our very esteemed here. I think he wants to meet up with that person. <laughs> Apart from the electric shuttle buses, bicycle riding by members of staff is also part of the Environmental Sustainability Initiative by the management here at the repair plant in the Korodu. And if you're wondering if the initiative can extend beyond these premises, well, you never know, since one in every five Nigerians has already been serviced by the umbrella company, the Sahara Group, which is already thinking the future. And that future, the company says, it's beginning within its own premises here at the Mipa plant in Lagos. Arise News, Lagos. Things are getting better.